Hello everyone and welcome to Galaxy 89 Cars. Now today's video is a first for my channel. So I've had my bath for about five, six months now and I thought it was about time I started personalizing it. I don't know if you saw it, but a few months ago I drove to London in the car for the first time, probably at the beginning of the year. And that time I put little decals, some at Galaxy 89 Cars with the Instagram or YouTube symbol. And to be honest, they just washed off. Now, I cleaned the area properly, I put them on. Either way, I just didn't think they looked that great. So I thought, how else can I brand my car so it could become more recognizable to me and to Galaxy 89 cars? So the answer, I suppose, without having to wrap it or do anything crazy is by getting a personalized number plate. So this is a first, because in the time I've had my channel, this being the first car I've had, so this is clearly the first opportunity I've had to put a plate on a car. So I'm gonna show you what I've gone for and why. So as you can see, I've gone for P9GXY. The GXY at the end, I would say, is fairly self-explanatory, obviously, for Galaxy. The P9, maybe not so much. I did try to look for 89, I couldn't find it, it wasn't for sale. There was B9, I didn't quite like how that looked. I also found F1 GXY, but that was almost £2,000. And on a car like this, I'm not prepared to put a £2,000 number plate on it. So, 9 is my lucky number, as well as being in 89 cars, so I thought, what the hell, I'm just going to go for P9 GXY. I'm going to use this as a hashtag in my videos on Instagram, I'm going to put it um, on my page as well, just so if someone sees the car, then they know who to associate it with. Brought to you by... So from the title of the video, you've probably seen that this video isn't all about the number plate. There's also some artwork. So I'm going to go inside the car and show you in there. Oh, it's absolutely boiling today. So I've actually had to take my jacket off. It's absolutely roasting. So inside of this tube is a piece of artwork that an extremely talented young automotive artist has done of the Abarth. So I think there's probably quite mixed emotions about getting a picture or a painting of your car commissioned. Um, I imagine some people probably think it's quite geeky. Um, other people might think it's really, really cool. For someone who uploads to YouTube quite regularly and who's trying to put a car like this as part of the brand that they're trying to create, I think it's quite nice to have this, a sort of, not just um, something to display, but also sort of um, a reminder of what you're trying to achieve in some ways. So anyway, I'm gonna show you this. I'll leave all of his Instagram details uh, in the description of the video. So, check this out. This is hand-drawn. It looks amazing, right? Absolutely amazing. The, the attention to detail is unbelievable. I actually asked for this um, before putting my new plates on, so he's even got that on there too. I think it looks absolutely great. I'm definitely going to be putting this on the wall. I think it looks absolutely awesome. As well as actually doing that, he sent me some time-lapse footage, which I'm going to put into the video. Yeah, I, I mean, I think it, he said it took like 10 hours for him to make that. So other than the plates at the front and the Abarth artwork, I've got a little announcement to make. Now this Saturday, which is the 20th of May 2017, I'm going to be at the Rockingham Race Circuit with Abarth UK and filming the entire event, probably filming my drive up, filming the day. It's going to be amazing because I'm going to go to, on track in a, a huge variety of cars. So the video of that should be out in a week or two. So make sure you tune in because it's going to be the first time I've ever done anything like that. The brand is amazing. I'm hopefully going to try out all of their cars and maybe even one special car. So to conclude the video, number one, I hope you like my new plates. Let me know your opinion in the description of the video. Number two, go check out Arno's uh, artwork page on Instagram if you have it. Um, I think he's amazing, he's outstanding. He's actually done quite a lot of work for quite a lot of people. Seb Delaney, Seen Through Glass, etc. So it's well worth a look. And point three, Make sure you check out my next video, which will be from the Abarth Day 2017, where I get to go in a whole bunch of different Abarths. So until next time, and until then, cheers.